Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 cool camera features for the OnePlus Nord. The first tool I want to show you is uh, to quick launch the camera by just double tapping the power button and you immediately add a camera without wasting time for looking for the app and so on. If you need really fast the camera, just double tap the power button and you immediately add the camera. And what's also very nice, also if your phone is on standby, just double tap the power button and you are immediately at the camera as well. And if you want to change the resolution, uh, basically if you bought it, uh, the default settings is 12 MPs, then just tap here on the top in the middle and you can change it at, uh, to the 48 MP cam, uh, which one uh, have a higher resolution, but the more dynamic pictures you can have with 12 MPs. So um, take a good choice. Another nice point is this little icon here. So if you tap this little icon, you are in Google Lens. And what's very cool here, you have a translation tool. So if you go on this one, you can live translate stuff like my German book here. It uh, will translate it immediately in English. And what's very great, it auto detects as well the language. Yeah? If you want to copy it, just press you on the button and um, you can copy the text. Uh, and so on and uh, uh, work on it. Uh, so it's really great for the holidays uh, in case you want to translate something in a restaurant or something like this. Uh, or for your studies, uh, if you need uh, some books in another language and so on. So a very great tool. Okay, now let's have a look on the cameras because you have four cams and let me show you how you can use them a bit. And uh, so this is the main cam with 48 MPs or in our case now 12 MPs. Uh, and um, if we are very close to an object and uh, or to a group and so on, you can use the ultra wide cam here with the three threes and you have much more range as you can see. So let me show you the basic cam here with the two threes. Uh, this is the basic cam and this is the ultra wide cam. Um, but the basic cam is better from the quality. But if you are close to a group or close to a large object, then it's better to use the ultra wide cam. So let's go back to the basic cam. Okay, let's go on the one three because this is a zoom. Uh, so now we are uh, automatically zoomed. This is the basic cam and you can zoom in automatically. Uh, so a nice feature. And um, we have also, let's go back to the basic cam. We have also a macro cam in case we are very close to an object. And as you can see now, we see nothing. But you can enable now here the macro mode. It's the flower here. Tap it and now the picture is much more clear. Can you see that? So this is the main cam. You cannot see very well. And it's the macro cam. Now it is very clear. But also the macro cam have less megapixels. So I recommend to you to use uh, uh, for the basic pictures always the basic cam. Okay, now let's have a look on the shutter because if you take your pictures, you know, just tap on the shutter and so on. But if you long press the shutter, um, the video mode is automatically starting without choosing the video mode here at the side. So you can take little videos if you long press the shutter and uh, if you left your hand from the shutter, the video will stop. So a very nice tool to take short videos maybe for uh, Instagram and so on. Yeah, but you can change also that if you long press the shutter, if you're going here on the settings. Um, then you will have here the point long press shutter and then you can choose between record the video, what we did right now, what's the default setting or to take burst photos. Okay, now let's uh, go back again to the camera uh, because we have also an included timer. So in case uh, you want to make a picture and uh, you uh, want to have a bit time to run maybe also to the to the group and so on that everybody's on the picture you can set up a timer here uh, here at the corner so just tap it and uh, then you choose how many seconds you will need uh, on how many seconds the phone should uh, take uh, so how many seconds the phone should wait for taking the picture so let's take maybe the three seconds and uh, now if i'm tapping the shutter there's a countdown and the picture will shoot just after three seconds. Okay, let's come to the next point. Uh, we have also a filter included for your pictures that you can change it with the colors of the picture. Um, so we have that little, little symbol here below the settings. So just tap it. And now we can uh, choose maybe another 
a color for the picture here. As you can see, we have many uh, stuff here. And as you can see, the colors always changing. You can try a bit. And uh, we have also black and white stuff and so on. So you can um, really be um, creative and so on. So uh, very nice. And we can take also chromatic pictures and so on. So choose uh, the filter you want to have. And if you want to have the regular uh, one, the regular picture, it's always the first picture um, without any filter. Yeah, and this phone as well have uh, slow motion included uh, if you want. So just tap you on slow motion on the side. And uh, yeah, let's record maybe my hand, how it's moving fast. And have a look now on my moving hand. As you could see, I have moved it really fast, but now we have a slow-mo. I hope you have a more interesting <laughs> video with your slow motion uh, than me. And um, yeah, a very nice tool. You could uh, try some with and yeah. Now let's come to the last point. It's the night mode. So the night mode you have on the other side. So just move to the place it's called Nightscape. So let me off the light for. So now everything is uh, dark as we have very less light here, uh, but you can still take pictures with it. And that's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So uh, I will take now a picture of my little friend here next to. And uh, important is that you hold your phone uh, is Steady, also uh, quiet. I don't sorry, my English is so bad. Uh, just hold your phone very relaxed, and cool, in the same position, and then the software is taking the pictures and put more light. And look, it's absolutely dark here next to me. What the picture did? He put the software put more light in it, and it's, uh, we have we have seen more um, <laughs> sometimes more than our eyes on this. Pictures. Thank you so so much that uh, you have a look on my video here and uh, let me tell you that the phone have also much much more stuff here like uh, the panorama mode uh, so you can uh, take a panorama picture here with this phone it will uh, guide you um, uh, during your picture and uh, you have also a time you can make time lapse uh, videos here so very nice uh, you have a portrait mode with a beauty filter um, if you want to have one, uh, but let me tell you that you're beautiful like yeah, you don't need that So take the regular photo cam and uh, Yeah, thank you so so much for watching this video. I hope I could show you something new with that and uh, Yeah, maybe if you want you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up That would be very helpful for my videos uh, Thank you so so much for and you have created also some other videos if you're interested in normally just subscribe me It would be really a pleasure to see you again and uh, yeah, maybe at the next time. <laughs> Ciao.